was Leanne Tui. And Leanne Tui joins us again to talk about her brand new TV series called uh, Family Edition with Leanne Tui. And of course, you know Leanne Tui, uh, the real uh, life, uh, uh, I guess, uh, Sandra Bullock from The Blind Side. And uh, Leanne, great to speak to you again. Hi, how are you doing, Steve? I'm fine. Congratulations. We had touched on the fact that you were going to have this TV series starting in June, and it starts this Friday, June 7th, 9 p.m. Eastern on GMC, which is being revamped and renamed uh, Up. Yeah, it's already done. June 1st, we became Up. And yeah. We love that name. It's inspiring, uplifting family entertainment. And uh, it certainly correlates with the Tui family message. All right. Well, let's talk about this. This, of course, this, the, the, the blind side was based on the fact that you found uh, and took in a, a needy young man who happened to be African-American in Michael Orr, and the rest is history. And this series is about uh, families who, in all different kinds of circumstances, are doing the same. They are. It's about the uh, families in this world that are, in my opinion, the true heroes, because they are the ones that are opening their hearts and their homes to these kids that just want to be loved and you know goodness we have so many kids in this country they're daily falling through the cracks and um, there's a lot of loving families out there sometimes I think the task is daunting sometimes it's a financial burden they can't afford it um, there's there's a very sort of sundry reasons why people don't go through the adoption process and we hope that this show um, helps people to realize they look at it and they go you know maybe it's not as daunting as I thought um, and we just hope that you'll be able to emulate what these families are doing because we need many, many more people in this country to open up their homes. We want to make sure that every kid has a family and a room and a bed and to be loved and know that there's someone that cares about them in the morning when they wake up. And, and you know, what, what struck me watching The Blind Side was just that, that, you know, only, uh, uh, at least the way it was portrayed, only someone super rich could make this happen. Someone with the connections that you had, at least in the movie, uh, could make this happen. And, and how daunting a task it is for those who want to adopt. So daunting, in fact, that they have to go to foreign countries often. So, so you know, you, you, you have, all, I've read all kinds of family sketches of the families you'll be uh, representing and, 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 and documenting in this uh, series as we go along, um, all kinds of people. I mean, from a, a sister who took over her, her, uh, her, her sister's child because uh, she was going to lose custody and now has adopted her, a uh, family that took in three foster kids in addition to their own. Um, I mean, all kinds of circumstances. Every story is different. Um, and that's what we hope that we'll be able to continue down the road is to show different stories. There are no really two stories alike in this country ever with any situation. But each and every week we show a different family and the trials and tribulations that they are going through, either how they got there or where they need to go. Um, we really need to overhaul our adoption and foster care laws in this country. They make it very difficult. Um, they uh, sometimes make it easy for the wrong people to take in foster kids. Um, we just hope that this show will be long term, that it will give us a voice to be loud and proud and say, uh uh, you're not doing that right, or you're in this for the wrong reasons, or this law needs to be changed. Because for so long, the adoption issues have been swept under the carpet in this country, and people don't want to talk about it. It's, it's whispered over in corners. Well, it's time that we get off our backside, get up get loud about it and get these kids in forever families it's absolutely absurd that it hasn't happened and your daughter uh collins and also uh the the, the person portrayed as miss sue in the movie um uh, is going they're going to uh, uh also be involved in this show and it's got to be pretty exciting for your daughter to be involved what what i mean how has she developed since we saw her in the in the blind side as she was portrayed into someone who uh you know wants to take such a, a big part in this well, I don't know if she would call it exciting. Her mother called and said, get yourself here. I need you immediately. <laughs> and she obeyed me. Um, you know, I realized real quickly it was going to take more than just me. And so Collins and Miss Sue helped me each and every week. You'll even see the boys. Um, we need a little adult strength. And, some, and the guys showed up. And uh, Collins is doing great. She uh, does motivational speaking all over the country. She also has a boutique gourmet cookie company. Go figure from the mother that doesn't cook. But she <laughs> makes decorative uh, sugar cookies with her partner, Laurie, and they do an amazing business. And um, they have a great website. I'm a little plug here for Collins. But um, she's doing wonderful. But she does come and help me each week because she can correlate. You know, she, she can figure out, you know, hey, Mom, this is what's going on. You're, you're a little in the dark ages about this, you know. She keeps me abreast on the trends and, and you know, hey, that's not how you Right, know, she you keeps do. you hip. She keeps she, you hip. Although, she keeps al me hip. Although, I, from the movie uh, and from what I know of you, you don't need any help with that. One other thing, you know what I found interesting when I talked to Quentin Aaron? He said that he had just recently at that point, and this was a few months
few months ago, met Michael Orr, that they didn't want him to talk to Michael because they didn't want it to, him to meet the current Michael. They wanted Michael to be you know, p portrayed in the era that he portrayed him in. I thought that was fascinating, that he had no contact whatsoever with him until years after the movie. Well, they really didn't want my, uh, you know, Quentin to emulate Michael now because they wanted a raw Quentin. You know, they wanted him as Michael was when he came to live with us when he was 16. Right. And, um, Quentin did a great job. Everyone did a great job. Everybody, you know, really jumped in with both feet and wanted to play their roles as accurately as possible. And, um, you know, as I said earlier, for Hollywood not to screw something up is really nothing short of a miracle. And, and they did a really great job with the blonde side. All right, all right, so it's going to be uh, so Friday night. Real quick, which family we get to see? What's the circumstance? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. you oh, you can't in. tell me? Okay, no, okay. Friday night, the uh, premiere, 9 p.m., tune in. You can get it on DirecTV, Dish. Look for Up, and I promise, we want to hear about it. Go to LeanneTooie.com, let me know what you think about it. Um, talk about it, be loud and proud about it, and let's make a difference. All right, Leanne, thank you. Always a pleasure to speak to you. Good luck with it. Thanks, Steve. Bye-bye. That's uh, Leanne Tui.